Back in 2004, I found out that through an uh, exam that I had mitral valve prolapse. I lived with the condition for about six years until it basically hit its zenith where um, they checked me every year and they said that it, it's time to get the surgery. Steve Olson was referred to our practice because his mitral valve had deteriorated to the point that he had severe leaking of the valve and it was time to seriously consider an operation. And then they scheduled a, a, uh, a test where they took a camera and put it down my throat behind my uh, heart and into the lung and looked at the mitral valve because it's on the back side of the heart. I was still out. My wife said the doctor had a blank look on his face that did the test and saying this got, has to be done fairly fast. Steve is a very healthy gentleman and is therefore able to take advantage of some of the advanced minimally invasive options that we provide here at Spectrum Health. One of the leading innovations in the last few years that the Meyer Heart Center has been able to offer is robotic heart surgery. Like many patients, Steve had a type of failure of his mitral valve that was well suited for a minimally invasive approach. We discussed how the Da Vinci robot has been able to help a number of patients here in West Michigan, and he seemed knowledgeable in the technique already and ready to make plans for surgery. Spectrum Hospital had a seven o'clock meet and greet, no, learn about the Da Vinci machine and how it can help you, because I, I didn't realize it can be used for other things like cancer and uh, prostate cancer and, and it can uh, work on other organs. So I went to it just to kind of research it, give myself peace of mind, because eventually I, in my gut, I knew I was probably gonna have to have this done. Had the procedure on Thursday, um, it went well, and they fixed it, um, so that was good. The advantage of a minimally invasive robotic approach is that patients can return to activities of work and play quite as soon as they want to. And so when patients leave the hospital after a mitral valve repair performed with a da Vinci robot, they're not given restrictions. They can return to work and activities of recreation as soon as they want. I was able to get up that day and walk around and uh, again went in Thursday and uh, left the hospital on Sunday and then um, felt so good that I went to work on Wednesday. The technology has enabled us to still practice surgery as we know it with the dexterity and the vision but through much smaller incisions. The term robot is a bit of a misnomer because it suggests that the machine is doing all the work on its own. The Da Vinci robot is not autonomous, its actions are controlled by the cardiac surgeon. It is so precise in, in its actions. Even though the doctor's really not working on it, he's basically on a table across the, uh, the room and uh, it was just um, it's the technology that I felt comfortable with. Robotic heart surgery is another aspect of care that's been donated generously by the Fox family for us to use here in West Michigan. Like any other surgical tool, the robot is part of a variety of instruments and techniques available to us when approaching a patient who needs heart surgery. I'm so proud of what's happening in West Michigan and this Meyer Heart Center. It's the, the best in the country as far as I'm concerned and it saved my life. <laughs>